It's Heather with 105.9 KZZK The Grizz, and I have the pleasure to be hanging out backstage with the drum master himself, Roy, from Stone Sour, as he rolls his eyes at me. Oh, thank you. So thank nice you for... Meet you. Yeah, you too. And our, we're kind of hair twins a little bit. We have the, the red and black yeah. thing going. I like that. Yeah, red and black. Yeah, it's a great color combination. Exactly. So you are... I mean, obviously, you're known for your drums. What age did you start playing? When did you pick up those sticks and decide this is what you wanted to do? Mm, about five or six, something like that. Um, that would be around the time when I saw Kiss on TV, and I was like, that's it. I mean, I mean there's kind of been drumming prior to that, but watching them on TV was kind of what resonated in me to mm -hmm. be like, okay, this, this is what I need to be doing. So you just had that internal, like, yeah. this is it moment. So yeah. Peter Chris was he one of your inspirations then to yeah, do that? Yeah, in the beginning. And then, you know, other drummers followed after that. Right. Know. So what style of music did you start playing? Have you always been in the metal genre, or did you start something a little bit softer? No, I, was, I mean, I was mostly, in, you know, as, as a seven-year-old, mostly into hard rock, you know, Kiss, right. Sabbath, ACDC. Even before that, I grew up listening to more Motown and soul music, because that's what my, my mother and father used to listen to a lot. So I gravitated more into that kind of groove and drumming from from those cats, you know. Right. Curtis Mayfield and James Right, Brown. going old school. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So I was into that more before listening to rock. And then after after uh, getting into rock, I got into, you know, punk and stuff like that, and more underground industrial stuff. And mm -hmm. Joined bands in the 80s and, you know, started touring when I was about 15, 16, something like so that. So, like, Soulfly when you were... No, 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 no. Not way, that, way before that. Like 12, wow. 13 years, maybe longer. Really? Soulfly. Yeah, I mean... So you started so, touring really early. I started touring when I was, yeah, about 15. It was like wow. 80, 1985. Just playing in uh, just punk rock shows and touring in a... And a pinto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, dangerously. There you go. Well, those pintos are dangerous. If you hit them in the wrong way, yeah, you're you exploding. Hit, you, hit them, <laughs> you get rear-ended, yeah, you're dead. Um, yeah, Soulfly was a lot, lot later. That was like more late 90s. Wow. Yeah. See, that's when I was introduced to your your drumming stylings. Because okay. I, I came into radio in the late 90s as an intern. and right. So it's one of those, that's where I got introduced. And as far as Stone Sour, I've seen in a recent article that you said you are home. So what is it about this band that you feel more comfortable and you think this is going to be it? Well, it's it's everything I, I, I've wanted in a band. There's, there's, there's camaraderie and I'm, I'm able to um, express myself as a, as a drummer, musician in this band as opposed you know, to you know before or whatever. I mean, I could in every band I've been part of, but this band is really special to me because I, I just... I just love the love what I do in this band, you know. I love what I've done in every band I've been in, but I I, I love this more. Do you get more artistic freedom? Yeah, a, a lot more. Yeah. To kind of do your own thing, because a lot of times people can feel confined, but you feel like you can express yourself. Yeah. And, good. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to bring this up because it was in all of the trades and everything, the Nickelback controversy with Chad's words to, you know, Corey. Do you think he was just trying to start something to? Make him get a boost from the fans because there's a lot of people that don't like that band now. Here, here's the thing: I'm 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 not going to get into that or engage in that. Okay, it's not worth my time talking about it. It's kind of yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I get it totally. Now you did get a number one song yeah. with song number three, so congratulations first of Thank all for you. that. Now this album is it's putting you guys out there because a lot of people thought oh, Stone Sour is kind of a side project. This to me shows that you guys are for real. Do you think this is going to have the staying power to shut those critics up? I hope so. I think so far it has. Good. I think so. I mean, it's yeah. actions speak louder than words kind of thing. Uh, Number yeah. one. You know. We've never had that before. I mean, I've, no. I've never been part of a band that's had that. It's a first for me. Um, very unexpected. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed <laughs> by it. It's, Good. It's a hell of a, an achievement. You know? I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I thank everyone for making that happen. No so. problem. Yeah, we play the hell out of it, just so you thank know. You. Now, as far as you, um, it's kind of an off-the-wall question, but guilty pleasure if you're by yourself, no one's around, is there something that you like to, to rock out to or just kind of relax? And it's something not necessarily you'd want people to know, but it's something that makes you comfortable. You know, I don't have a guilty pleasure with any kind of music or anything. I love all music. It could be country. It could be disco. Mm -hmm. It could be classical. I love everything. So there's, to me, that that doesn't guilty pleasure phrase isn't, doesn't really attach to that. So. so it's not like a closeted thing. You like no. pretty much anything. I'll listen to ABBA. Hey, don't we? All? They're in my iPod. <laughs> I'm not going to Curtis Mayfield, like, you, mm -hmm. like I say, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't sit home and listen to just 
the kind of music that I do. I mean, of course I do. I throw on Kiss or right, or I'll throw on Kraftwerk or I'll throw on Led Zeppelin or you know Gary Newman, but then I'll throw mm-hmm. on ABBA. You know, well, it's all different flavors. Plasmatics, you know. Right. So, thing. what inspires you? Like, if you want to sit down and just like get into the zone, what do you do in your head, or what gets you the inspiration to go out there and, and tear it up on stage? Mm. I don't know, it's just more just an internal passion. Like, I've, I've always had the passion to play. I love doing what I do. I haven't been out on the road for three years, so there's that drive behind me. I just, right. I just want to go do it. You know, I get, I still get the nervous uh, butterflies in the stomach before I play every day still, so that's good. Do you have a pre-show ritual you do in your head to kind of get yourself comfortable? No, I just kind of shut off. And normally, as a band, we'll, we'll, we'll practice the set like run through the set before we play mm-hmm. it's something we just started doing um our guitar player christian martucci brought that element into the band so that's our ritual nice. we'll, we'll get together we'll jam the set just on our practice pads and practice amps and then wait an hour and then go jam and go do the show yeah now what's your favorite song to play right well, now mm-hmm. i really love playing song three do you it's a fun song to play. i love hearing it's it it's just a it's just punch man you know that and fabulous. I love playing that. We just started playing Blotter again, which is off the first album. And right. Get inside together. I always love playing those. We hadn't played those in a long time, so I think those are starting to be my new favorite again to play. Live. And like what's old, you make new again. Because there's people yeah. that maybe didn't know you guys before, and now that you've hit the register and hit their radar, now they're going to go back and enjoy those. We've got a pretty cool set now. I mean, we're, we're playing off of every, a couple songs off of every record, which is kind of cool. Nice. I can't wait to see it. I thank you very much for your time. All right. Thank you. Thank you.